Hey there, happy Monday. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kathleen Borsch and I am the owner and the maker of the products that you find at knotsofgrace.com. What I'm here to do today though, is I come to you on Mondays with a little bit of positive inspiration that we can use to kickstart our week. And that inspiration comes from this little book called Hugs, Daily Inspirations for Women. Inside of the devotional every day of the year, there is a theme. And within the theme, there's a Bible verse, a quote, and a description of the theme. So Mondays, I bring one of those to us here. So that way, like I said, we can use it to kickstart our week. So let's jump into today's. If you're following along in your own book, we are reading from July 9th. And the theme is practicing what we preach. The Bible verse is Proverbs 29, 18, and it says, when people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild, but whoever obeys the law is happy. Are you willing to practice the philosophies you preach? Hopefully so. Otherwise, you'll be tormented by inconsistencies between your beliefs and your behaviors. If you'd like to enjoy the rewards of a clear conscience, it's up to you and only you to make certain your actions are guided by your beliefs. Nobel Peace Prize winner Jane Addams once noted, the worth of every conviction consists precisely in the steadfastness with which it is held. How steadfastly do you hold your convictions? If your convictions are firmly held and clearly demonstrated by your actions, congratulations. If you've already learned one of life's most important lessons, convictions aren't really worth very much until they're put into practice. And this week's quote comes from the author unknown, and it says, when your good behavior speaks for itself, don't interrupt. <laughs> so on that note, I hope you take a minute now to uh, pray or to meditate on this message of practicing what we preach. It's one of the hardest things to do. At least I find sometimes it's really hard to do. And so I have to sit and think and pray about it and make sure that the words that are coming out of mouth, my mouth are also the words that are also my actions. So if you struggle like me, Take a few minutes now to pray and meditate on how you can use this message today and the rest of your week. So until Monday next week, I hope you have a wonderful week and just know that I'm praying for you. And I ask that you pray for others, all of those who are watching this um, and those around you. And if you would pray for me too, I'd really appreciate it. So until next Monday, take care. Bye-bye.